us on a lot of big shows in Europe and Japan. Uh, what does it mean to you to fight the kind of Pelotio show arena? Oh, it's amazing to be on the Pelotio show. It's something I've been uh, thinking about for a while. Just waiting for the opportunity. Last year I had to make the right moves to get myself in a position where it was uh, profitable for both myself and the organisation. I went out, knuckled down one minute at a time and went through five guys last year. Matt Mitrion obviously fought three weeks ago. He's been medically cleared, but you know, are you concerned about anything to do with his health coming into this fight? I'm pleased on a man-to-man -man level that he's been medically cleared before the fight game is uh, coming into play. So that's my first, first and foremost thought is he's been cleared. Uh, I'm not a doctor and doctors are doctors for a reason. So they've been medically cleared him, so we, we trust that that's, that's the way he is. And uh, you know, when he's, when he's not medically cleared after his fight, I want to make sure we realize it's me it's supposed to talk about. Did you watch his last performance? And if so, what did you think of it? I was there, it was sloppy. Okay. So how has that helped you obviously going into preparing for it? It hasn't changed anything for me. It's still Matt Michonne, um, high level experience, awkward, and uh, the prize is still the same for me, it didn't change anything. So the fact that obviously he's a former UFC fighter, he's got that experience and you know, uh, he's very well known. Does that put any pressure on you, especially going in, you know, making your debut in Bellator? When I talked about coming to Bellator, I made it very clear that I want the top names, and that's what get me interested. And I throw me in with Matt Mitrione, who is considered one of the best names, um, the top talents in the heavyweight division in Bellator. So I got what I wanted, as far as my preparation, as far as the fight. I don't care if it's Matt Mitrione, I don't care who steps in there. I'm looking to go through each person, and get my way towards the title fight. So in terms of uh, a fight, um, you've kind of gone it straight in at the deep end, you know, there's not probably much better in the heavyweight division for Bellator that you could have faced on your debut. Uh, did you really want to go straight for the top guy or was, you know, was there any other names uh, thrown into the hat before Matt? This isn't the deep end, I live in the deep end. Mm. Um, this year so far I've had um, three potential fights that got cancelled, um, Fedor Milenko, Vitaly Milenkov, Alexander Volkov. Um, like I say, I live in the deep end, this is normal. Matt's just another guy, um, and he's the one that's this, uh, this materialised, and I'm going to do what I would have done to any of them. How much uh, notice do you have to prepare for this fight? Because it's been put together quite quickly. Yeah, a um, month. Enough. Enough for you? Yeah. And obviously Kimbo Slice, obviously, you know, was meant to headline the card, and, you know, this is your first fight in Bellator, so I don't know if you had any interaction with uh, Kimbo Slice, but how do you think he'll be remembered, given the fact that he was meant to fight the weekend? Well, Kimbo, um, what's, what's sad news, you know, what tragedy, um, you know, what a guy, seemed like a, I, don't, I don't know him personally, but seemed like a very good man, a good person, and what a route he took in, uh, in combat sports, you know, not a route many of us could do, so um, he's a legend in my eyes. Obviously, this is massive news, you know, the UFC being bought for four billion, when you, you know, as a fighter, when you hear something like that, how much money being put into to the game and, and a promotion being bought for that much money, what's your initial reaction to that? Um, no, I'm just looking forward to getting my supplies to the fight. So how do you see it going down on Saturday then? Obviously, you Matt Mitrione, a win over him, what would that do for your career? A win over Matt Mitrione will put him one step closer to maybe taking the belt or gold. It will uh, make me more financially comfortable and it will uh, motivate me to go on to the next next uh, next challenge. And how, how do you see it going down? Um, I think once Matt feels my fist a few times, he's going to get a little bit more shy, a little, a little bit more nervous. Um, he backs away anyway, he's going to be backing away, backing away. But once the uh, energy starts sapping out, he's going to be right in the middle where I want him. Oli, K. Roney here. Considering Matt Mashone's performance last month, do you think his chin's gone? Uh, I've You've been around the game long enough. You know when someone's punch resistance is not what it used to be. Yeah, I mean, he, he took he took a big shot. Yeah. He took a big shot. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk negative for Matt. Matt, he took a massive shot. Um, the reality is, it's not so much his chin going. It's a matter of how he feels about getting hit again. Now he's felt that. And uh, not, if I hit him one time, I'm gonna hit him two times and three times. And uh, I'm not gonna let him off the way he let off that night. You know, he's been built up as the the Bellator heavyweight darling, the coolest heavyweight in the states to come over here. Um, and some people mentioned about experience. I've seen you fight for hundreds here, Europe, around the world, the timing's right for you. So what round are you going to knock him out in? What round? You know, you have to ask Matt how much he's uh, prepared to take. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll offer him a way home. 
throughout the forever.